morning, good morning, family. How is everyone doing this wonderful Thursday morning? How is it going out there? Are we doing good? Are we waking up with an attitude of gratitude? Are we ready to start another day full of spring ahead? Have you set your goals for the day? You know what you're going to accomplish today? Have you put it out there so it can come back to you? Good measure, fresh down, shaken together, and run it over. I sure hope you put it out there this morning, because if you say it, it's going to come back to you. Well, you have dialed into the team effort lifestyle call where you will hear things that will move you from facts to faith to action. We have some of the best leaders in the industry. So I hope you are plugging in each and every day. And I do hope that you are remembering to invite as many people as you can, as many people as you want to be a part of your team, as many people that's already on your team, and you want them to really grow and understand how this is work. I hope that you're sending out a text message every morning and everyone on the call along with you. Well, this is Pastor Lisa McDowell along with your business partner, Pastor Joe, my business partner, your business partner, Pastor Joe Wafer, and the line is open. Go right ahead. Introduce yourself. Where are you calling in from? EC, happy, happy TTP day. Oh, my goodness, Rob. I'm excited, too. I love the TTP. I just love the TTP. So I'm excited, too, Robert. How's it going this oh, morning, sir? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. TTP needs, needs us all. <laughs> gotta have them. Gotta have those TTPs. <laughs> well, right, thank you for being here. Who else is with right. us? Go right ahead and introduce yourself. Sandy Goins, Springdale, Maryland. Hello, Miss Sandy. How's it going, Sandy? Good morning. All is well. Blessed by the best. Woo, that's <laughs> right. That's right, Sandy. Can't get any better than that. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Keep it coming, Sandy. This is with us. Go right ahead and introduce yourself. Jesse Bowser. I'm at Heist, Maryland. Hello, All my right, brother, Mr. Jesse. Jackson. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I am here. Hello to my brother, Jesse. <laughs> say, say, say to you, Paul, and glad to be here, Pastor Denise, and I'm definitely getting ready to bring my folks to the uh, TTP tonight. Ooh, that's right, Jesse. Bring them in, Paul. This is on a mission. I love I when am. you take action. Look, Jesse, when you take action, things happen, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's as simple as that. When you take action, things happen. Great job. Good to hear you, Jesse. Good to hear you, Paul. He's a coming family who has his witness this morning. Go right ahead and introduce yourself. Call your name. Call it out there. If you've already shut it and I didn't hear it, come on, let's hear it again. How about some of you listening never get your name called out? Won't you take a positive risk? Give me your name. Who's going to who's with me this morning? Carla's in Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, look at that. Did you say Carla? I did. Hi, Carla. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you today? I'm doing great. And you're taking a good, uh, you're starting your day out right by taking a good positive risk, Carla. <laughs> thank you for letting us know that. Thank you for letting us know that you're on with us this morning. You're welcome. And Cincinnati is blowing it up, Carla. What you guys doing in Cincinnati? We're trying. We're trying to take it all the way to the top. So keep sure. watching us. Hey, look, I was watching you. <laughs> yeah, keep it going. <laughs> all right, okay. all right. That's how you do it, Carla. Well, time to get ready to mute it out. Anyone else want to get us your name? And the conference is now in presentation mode. Your line is muted. To Gigi. Gigi said that she shouts out her name every week, but somehow we just don't hear it. I said, Gigi, you must not be loud enough. Girl, shout it out. Shout your name like your name means something. Don't your name mean something? Yes, it does. Make sure everyone hears your name. You got to know Mel Gill said one time, it's good to get on the calls and just introduce yourself when we get together at the big event. Then we get to meet each other face to face. I like Maria. Maria said that she gets on every conference call. And Maria is doing it big in California. This is about ready to win her car. Her business is going. And she said she stayed plugged in not only to the team of his lifestyle call, but Mr. T, show me the money call, Don Joseph's call. She says that she just stays plugged in because she's on a mission. So when you take your mission seriously, I mean, you know, you're serious. You, you, you grow. You know, you grow all of, all of a sudden. People are looking for you. 
you're excited, you're passionate, you're sharing the good news, and people want to be a part of that. Well, I want to share something right. Go ahead and bring on my business partner, Pastor. Pastor Dale, are you there with us this morning? I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> good morning, sir. How are you morning, doing? Lady. I'm good. I'm good. Well, I tell you, you know, Maria has the right, uh, she has the right perspective. If you can get on every call that you possibly can get on, you can get some information that you probably didn't have before or information that will help to uh, solidify the information you already have. So it's always good, you know, to get on these calls when you can, whatever it is, whether it's a Spanish call or Mr. T's call or, you know, John Do- uh, Don Joseph's call or our call, you know, it's always something that's said that can inspire you. And, uh, and that's the key is, is, is staying inspired to do your business, staying inspired to move forward, uh, staying inspired to change people's lives. So uh, I think Maria has it, has it right. Yes, she does. So, Pastor Don, look, before we bring on our speaker for today, I want to share this testimony uh, that one of my customers sent me yesterday. And then this is what the business is all about, changing people's lives. And, family, as you listen to this, it's only a couple of seconds what he texted me. But uh, you may know someone that was dealing with the same condition or the same problem. And because he was able to find a solution for it, the 10 vitamin sprays, and if you know someone with these same symptoms, maybe you can offer them the 10 vitamin sprays to help them. So, now he's only been on the sprays for about a month, maybe about a month, and I think it's about a month and a half he's been on the sprays. So, I got a text yesterday, and he said, drastic change in diabetes symptoms. So, I didn't know he had diabetes. I didn't even know he was really dealing with anything. So, he's telling me this now as he's taking the sprays. They said, drastic change in diabetes symptoms. He said, I was peeing a lot, you know, just peeing. And he said, almost every hour before 10, so before taking the 10 vitamin sprays. He said, but more importantly, I do not have to plan bathroom stops. He said, and I'm not having close calls, making it to the bathroom without rushing. Now, I'm not I'm sure maybe some guys understand what this I know that this gentleman is about 54 years old, and he was dealing with diabetes. Um, his bladder was not giving him. Uh, he was having bladder issues, not able to make it to the bathroom in time and, and uh, making uh, bathroom, scheduling bathroom stops so that he wouldn't have that issue. But now he says since taking the 10 vitamin sprays, there's been a drastic change in his diabetes system, and he is feeling good. So when you get a text message like that, at the office of one of the vitamin sprays, and it's just changing their life, and it's making it easier and better for him to, to, to live and to deal with society, then that is a good report. Do you agree with that, Pastor Dale? <laughs> well, I think that's a good report, especially when you have uh, somebody who's really letting you know things that you didn't know before, <laughs> you know. They're feeling so confident about, you know, what these products have done that they're letting, you know, they're letting their salesperson know, listen, you know, we never, I never shared this before with you, but I was having some close calls, you know, and uh, you just never know what people are dealing with. And when they start taking these products, we begin to find how their bodies are changing and their bodies are adapting. You know, that's true. And I've been knowing this gentleman for over 30 years. I've been on him for over 30 years and never knew he was dealing with any type of self-help issue. And, you know, he's been following me on Facebook because I've been out of touch with him for a little while. This is one of the ones that kind of reached out to when Denise Moore said, kind of go through your phone and reach out to some folks you haven't spoken to in a while. And he had been following me on Facebook. And, um, you know, when I reached out to him, he's like, he was more than ready to start the vitamin spray. I mean, no question answers is, yes, I want to try him. I need to try him. And I've been getting a good, he's the one who lost 10 pounds in his first two weeks. He took me lost 10 pounds, and now, now this. So that's a good report. I love what the vitamin sprays are doing for people around the globe. That's what it's all about. Well, I'm excited to bring on our business partner, our friend. He's an executive in 10 uh, Team Effort Network. He helps any and everyone. I don't care who you are. I don't care whose team you're on. I don't care what kind of help you need. This gentleman just makes himself available. And he's very well loved around the globe. Um, he's no stranger to the industry. He's been in the industry for years. He's known with a number of network marketing companies. 
And um, he's just a great leader, a great friend, and a great team player. So let us welcome to the call, uh, to the call our friend, Mr. Executive Paul Jackson. Paul Jackson, are you there, sir? Yes, ma'am. Good morning, Dr. Denise. Good morning, Dr. Dale Wafer. It is such a... Hey, buddy. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm finding my way back. And uh, for that, what you shared, Dr. Denise, about the gentleman that had those challenges, I can relate. Yes. Being a brother myself, I can relate. And uh, I'm happy for him. And that speaks to the passion and the enthusiasm we should have and reaching people with the challenges that people have. You never know who's dealing with what. It's true. But that, but yeah. it should fuel our effort to reach everybody. That's right. That's right. And you think about it, what was, what was he able to take before the 10th grade? And how long yeah. he been dealing with it? But now because of the 10th grade, he no longer has to deal with that. That's, that's what it's all about here. That's what it's yeah, all about. Yeah, we have to celebrate that. We have to celebrate that. Yes, sir. But, I have to tell you, it is still a distinct honor and privilege to be on the Lifestyle Call. I always tell people, especially those that I'm close to and part of my team, that it's like going to a filling station. Every day you want to fill up, <laughs> you know. Uh, you get so much from these calls, and they are building blocks and tools that can fortify your effort to become successful in this remarkable business and with this remarkable company. So without further ado, uh, let me respond to what was mentioned to me uh, at the training last month. Uh, Pastor Denise had a training at her home and she touched on so many things, but what was very apparent was the discomfort people had with the invitation to getting people invited to come out to the TTPs. So we overcame some of that discomfort, and we did some role-playing. And I got there late, so I had limited input. I had some input, but limited. But I observed that even people who had been in the business for a month or two didn't have the comfort that was necessary to invite people out, and people who preceded them that had been in the business longer also wasn't that comfortable. So this morning, I hope to be able to share uh, added perspective and add to the comfort of being able to extend the invitation to get people to come out to the TTP. But first, let me preface it by saying this. I'd like to give ex ex respectful acknowledgments to those who are making a concerted effort to expand our brand and compliment our found is Mel and Amy Gill's effort to and commitment to get to 50 million in 12 to 18 months. I'm speaking of Maria. I'm speaking of Vicky Tukar Soto, Denise Moore, Dwight, Kevin the Sundron, Mr. T, Tisha, Pastor Don Joseph out there on the West Coast, along with Lord Gibson and Renata Hall, Agent 008, Nakisha Barnes, our coach, uh, Dr. Anita Poole in the UK, Dr. Dale Wafer, who goes around the country all the time uh, sharing his business and expanding our brand, Dr. Denise McDowell, who does it every day diligently, Sheila and Tierra, my brother Jesse Bowden, my brother from another mother, Mr. Robert Smith, one star L.A. Anderson, two star Maureen Murphy Smith, Mr. Robert Hickens, and our corporate team, and last but not least, Jatina Day. So these people are remarkable in the concerted effort that they make to expand our brand and give us tools and reinforce our effort to build this business and make it successful. The invitation to the TTP should reflect that which will get a commitment and provide for return of commitment by the person you're inviting. It should put you in a position to be comfortable with the passion that we have for these remarkable products. A lot of us get in 10, but it takes a while for 10 to get in us. Uh, Dr. Dale always reminds us that you want to be a product of the product, 
uh, Pastor Denise emphasizes this all the time with testimonies that come. This should be what fuels the invitation, knowing that we have products that can impact people, change their life, give them a better quality of life, and functionality. I speak about this every Thursday, and today being Thursday, at our TTP with the emphasis that I put on the products in my presentation. The products are remarkable. We all know that. And we have them. But a lot of people don't know what we know. So the pressure should be off extending the invitation. A doctor was on the lifestyle call. He shared with us what was very apparent to him. If you can embrace the passion of being able to impact people with this information of these remarkable products, that should fuel your effort and that should reinforce your invitation to get people to come out and see this from the perspective of enhancing their life and making better their economic situation. What I do, I stole from Dr. Wafer. Uh, he shared with me, and I use it because I borrow all the time. He said that you could say this to a person. I have the inside track to the next multi-million dollar brand. Wouldn't you know? Who do you know that would like to be able to take advantage of this information and find out more about this? That is very compelling. You can use that and be comfortable with extending an invitation for a person to come out at 7 o'clock Thursday at the Woodmore Country Club with that kind of enticement and that invitation. I have another one. You're invited to a health and wellness tasting party. Big things are happening. Thursday, 7 to 8, at the Woodmore Country Club. Be there or be square. You don't want to miss this. What you're saying in your invitation is that something big is happening. You're giving the location. You're letting them know what it is, and you put an emphasis on them being there. You want the commitment. You don't want to have to say a lot. I adopt the philosophy that you don't tell them anything until you can tell them everything. What really works is the psychology of a person wanting information and not being able to satisfy their curiosity. You want to use the curiosity approach. You want people to want to beg you for more information. You don't want to tell them everything. So tell them nothing until you can tell them everything. Here's another one. Bob, you are a person that is well-respected in our city. With your connections, you could put me in touch with the right people to expand our Team Effort Network brand. You can't endorse what you have not seen, right? I'm asking for your assistance in identifying those who are looking to develop a six-figure residual income. Who do you know? Sheila, are you free Thursday at 7 o'clock? And you wait for the answer. If she say yes, you invite her. If she say no, tell her nothing. This is not the right time. I'll talk to you soon. I'm moving. You're in a hurry. You know, it's just like the elevator pitch. Person getting off at the next floor, you don't have all day to tell them what you want to tell them. You have to customize what you say and create a sense of urgency because you're moving, you're making things happen, you're getting things done. You don't have a lot of time to elaborate. Sheila, that is what I put to them as far as an invitation is concerned. Sheila, are you free Thursday at 7 o'clock? I would like to get your help to evaluate the most remarkable vitamin oil sprays. Have you ever heard of vitamin sprays? No, I don't believe I have. Are you in 10? Are you with 10? What is 10? You see, I will text you Wednesday with the address and location, though I know it's not necessary because you are always 
a person who is true to their words. That seals the commitment. And you pay them a compliment. Robert, you are an intelligent, open-minded person, right? What is Robert going to say? No, I'm not. If I could share with you information that would make better your health and generate wealth, you would want to know, yes? I have referred you to my senior business partner, Dr. Denise McDowell, who feels that you could contribute greatly to her managerial expansion and developing executives with her company. I can't promise you anything, but the opportunity exists for us to make an obscene amount of money. Can you clear your Thursday at 7 o'clock at the Woodmore Country Club? She really would like to meet with you. Now you lock them in. You've referred them. You've made reference to the fact that you've seen your business partner, knows about them, and expecting to meet them. That is a commitment. Jesse, I have always known you to be health aware and one who keeps your financial options open. Are you my friend? Ask my friend. I need you to ride with me to evaluate what I feel is the opportunity of a lifetime. Can you clear or reschedule whatever is on your calendar for Thursday at 7 o'clock? You are a man of integrity. So I know you will not disappoint your friend. My wife shared this with me. And I put her in this to acknowledge her. Frida, you can see the list of pre-existing health conditions on this piece of, on this flyer. High blood pressure, cancer, asthma, flu, anemia, depression, arthritis. Who do you know that would want to be beyond these limitations? I have a spray for that. Can you ride with me to my tent tasting party at 7 o'clock Thursday at the Woodmore Country Club? This is a must-see. Now, Frida shared with me that she got this from Jesse Bowden, who made this illustration at our training last month at Pastor Denise's house. What I hope to have illustrated in these invitations is sincerity, genuineness, complimentary business appeal that will express a sense of urgency and commitment to alleviate wasteful time in evaluating a life-changing opportunity that offers the enhancement of health and wellness. The bonus in this invitation is that is creating and extending is creating an extended family through our ten family culture. And this provides friends with benefits. The last thing I would say to you is on the call, Dr. John Joseph's call last night around eleven o'clock there was a gentleman, seventy seven years young who was married to a lady. His name was James. His wife's name was Thelma. She was 74. Thelma had been experiencing pain and discomfort for over seven years. He wasn't a big advocate of holistic treatment or anything pertaining to vitamins or whatever because he deferred to his doctor. But he tried the product because he wanted to provide comfort for his wife. He was open to doing that. It was introduced to him, the Super 10, which happens to be my personal favorite. Anybody who know me know I am quite biased when it comes to that green bottle of Super 10. Also, he embraced the cell energy. In one week, that pain and discomfort was no longer a challenge. Remarkable testimonies like that is what fuels our passion and should allow us not to be undercover or a secret agent when it comes to sharing this business with people. We should be giving this away. We should be like Paul Revere. The British are coming. The British are coming. We should be beating that drum and ringing that bell like Pastor Dale. 
ring the bell like Pastor Dale. Extend the invitation to people to come out and get on board with this. Okay, I think I've taken enough time. Hopefully some of this will have some impact. For those who received all this information, I'm going to formulate that which I've communicated and pass it on to Pastor Denise so that she can put this out and share this amongst our 10 families. My I'll time is up. I thank you for mm-hmm. yours. Thank you for sharing that. And family, we um, emphasize on because we get a lot of um, we get a lot of questions on how do you invite people? How do I get people to the TTT? I invite people, but they don't show up. Uh, so it, I guess you know it's good to just you know let's look at it different ways that you can ask people to come. But you know the best one I like, the one that works for me, is that friend. You know the friend invite. Like, are you my friend or are you not my friend? That one just seeks the work. Every time, and if they're not your friend, let's say it's your call market, and you want them to, to really come to TTP, then it's like, uh, you know, I, you know, really would love your support in this, and and you get a, you know, you get a committed agreement. Sometimes we get a, okay, good, I look forward to see you there, look forward to see you, but no, slow down and just get that um, um, committed agreement where you almost like shake hands on it. You know, you commit them to being there um, because. What we have is what people are looking for, and you want to get them to the TTP. This is one of the most powerful ways to really expand your business is by getting them to the TTP. And the TTPs are offered for you. They're offered to you for the growth of your business. So you really need to take advantage of them being there. And I'd say even if you don't have a guest, you need to show up anyway uh, to benefit yourself. There's always something that's being said that's going to encourage you, that's going to give you a new idea, a new approach. You may hear a testimony. You may meet someone there that will just inspire you to encourage you uh, to get you out there and, you know, approach a prospect in a different way. And somehow, some somewhere along the line, as Pastor Dale's always talking about, there's a learning curve in network marketing. Something kind of clicks. It's like one day something just clicks. You just get it. Like Maureen. Maureen, you've been with us from day one, but it wasn't until the event that we did in Las Vegas, the birthday celebration, that it just all of a sudden clicked. And now she is just on unstoppable fire. So thank you, Paul Jackson, for sharing the different ways and the different approaches we can make to invite our prospects, our friends, and our guests to the weekly TTP. Uh, Pastor Jim, are you there to add anything uh, to what Paul Jackson is sharing? Well, you know, Paul did a great job in, in sharing that. And, and I think, you know, we we found that that is one of the most difficult things for people to do is to invite people out. And because they, you know, they invite them, but before the conversation, or they, un- they uninvited them. You know? So, you know, you, you got to keep it clean, crisp, and fast. You're always moving. So, you know, I, I would definitely take the example that Paul gave. Uh, always be moving, always heading to another appointment, always being too hurt, too big of a hurry to spend more than two minutes with them and just get them invited. And as Pastor Denise said, you know, shake their hand and say, hey, I'm looking for you. When they say they come and say, hey, I'm going to be looking for you. That just kind of, you know, puts a little bit of pressure on them not to, you know, not to not show up. But the key is invite, invite, invite. You got to get as many people in these in these chairs to see this opportunity as you possibly can in order for you to have the conversion that, that works, you know, that, that in building your business. So, the key to any business like this is invitations, okay? That's 80% of what you do in this business is invite people to see it. So great job, Paul. Thank you so much. All right. Could I, yeah, could I-, I say one other thing, Pastor Denise, just to piggyback on what you were saying? I've come to understand, and I share this all the time, when you have someone, you need to be at the TTP because you need the support that's offered by the TTP. But when you yeah. don't have someone, that's when you really should be diligent to come out and support it because there are other people who have guests that you can impact them when they come and ask you, what do you see in this business and what do you got? So it's very important whether you have someone or not to support the TTP because you don't know the impact you're going to have on the audience and the guests that's there through the interaction. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to ask um, Pastor Dale and Paul, I just want you to share right quick. We did a demonstration in like, at the last training we had on how to invite people. What did you, and these were, these were rough events on the team for a while, but what did you notice 
most that was happening um, that they were struggling with and, and, they, and just make an insight. Just, Paul, what stood well, out to you? Well, what spoke to me was that too much was being said mm-hmm. and there wasn't a sense of urgency, nor there wasn't a way to get the appointment and confirm the appointment. That's where the ball was being dropped. They were saying too much, and they didn't get the appointment and confirm the appointment. And what I tried to do was add to the fact that if you reinforce the commitment by letting them know that they're expected, that people are looking to meet them, that they are a person of integrity, they're not going to change their mind, you the, all that reinforces the commitment. But the biggest part was saying too much and not having a short enough uh, invitation. Pastor Dale, what stood out to you? Well, I think the same thing Paul talks about is that you had, uh, you know, people that were sharing too much information and, you know, and not, not of the conversation, you know. You know, they got in the conversation, and then, you know, when they got the person uh, committed to coming, the person comes back with a question, well, what is it about? And then they, they drew them into this new conversation. And uh, people, didn't just, people didn't just, you know, get the commitment, give them information, and walk away. And it was hard for people to walk away. <laughs> so uh, that's what stood out to me. <laughs> I, I thought it was amazing. I was just hard. like, once you got the, the commitment, it says, okay, yes, I'll be there. I'm looking forward to it. You shake on it. And I was so shocked that, like you said, they went back in to get more to give more information when it was already a done deal. It's like that feeling that you got to say more. Because I, think it's a, I think it's a bit of excitement and nerve. The excitement that you got to be able to coming, and now you you know you go back and kind of like undo it. Uh, so <laughs> I think kind of put it out to me as well. But I thought it was really good that we had a chance to really see it. Uh, so that kind of helps you when it comes to inviting people uh, to the TCP. Well, I think that needs to be a part of all of our training because we constantly have new people coming in. It needs to be a part of all of our training. And if you guys are not doing this in your training, I recommend that you do some role playing in your trainings uh, in, you know, Ohio and California and all, in Atlanta, every place that you're at, because you're going to find that, the people that you think are very, very confident and that are very, very uh, uh, charismatic, what you're going to find is when it comes to invitations and inviting people, those very same people are going to have a difficult time. So, you know, it, it, it's always good to help people practice, practice, and practice. What we say about practice, practice makes improvement. That's right. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> That's right. So, and then and, and the invitation and writing, that's one of the biggest parts of your business. You have to be confident. You have to be calm. You have to know what to say and what not to say when inviting. And we just have a four-step easy write how to invite um, to, to a TTC. And uh, we'll email that to you. It's really it's a re- real easy four, uh, four-step invite. And uh, we'll email that to you so you can practice with your team, practice on one another. Because when we had it at the training, it was, we had a good time. We laughed at it. Was we laughed at ourselves, but we saw how we saw what we were messing up. We saw what we were, wow, we're saying too much, or wow, it's, you know, I didn't know I was that nervous. Or even with your confidence, you got to know what you're going to say, hit on it, move on it, and get out the way. So, Paul, thank you once again for bringing that to us today. Uh, hopefully, someone has you know taken notes, and now they're going to practice on what to say and what not to say when I'm inviting someone to a TTP. And I Thank think it was Denise. You're so welcome. I think it was Denise or Vicky once said, "You don't want to try." I think it was actually maybe. I think it was Vicky or Denise. They said, "You don't want to try to do the presentation at the invite." But when they say, when they ask you, "Well, can you tell me a little bit of what it's about?" That's when you say, "Hey, we just made the appointment. I have more time to tell you on Thursday." Okay? They go, "Okay, okay." It'll be just that easy. It's okay, okay. So if you try to tell them what it's about, you're gonna get yourself in trouble. Okay? Well, great call, great call, great information. We're growing, team. We are growing, growing, growing. Let's go out to Atlanta, Georgia with one star, Dr. Kevin Vaughn. Are you there with our quote for today, sir? Yes, I am. Hello, Dr. Vaughn. Hello, Dr. Vaughn. Hello, Dr. Vaughn. Hello, Dr. Vaughn. Hello,
Absolutely, Pastor. Can you hear me, Pastor Denise, Pastor Dale, and Brother Paul? How you doing today? Woo! Doing great. What a great doing great call. Doing great. Good to hear your voice. Good to hear your voice. You know, you guys uh, take us back to some awesome training we had uh, even uh, even last year, and it's all about getting a person in that seat. I think that may have been Pastor Dale or Mel mentioned it about getting a person in the seat. That's the only goal you have, folks, is to get a person in the seat in the TTP or in their home doing a one-on-one, whatever it takes, but your goal is to get them in a seat. And don't talk too much. It don't take much to get them in a seat. Just say, hey, I need to have you sit down for a minute, and then you go from there or set up an appointment. But our goal, ladies and gentlemen, is to get them in a seat. Matter of fact, I'm getting ready to go get a few more seats. I got a, I'm at a, a, actually at a networking event here in Smyrna, Georgia right now, Get ready to start that in a little while. I'm going to hopefully get about 10 to 20 names uh, for our wonderful business. But keep sharing, guys. Keep networking. Go to events where there's a lot of people out as well. Get those names. Don't talk too much. Just get the names and follow up. So we're just excited about everybody on the call today. And as you know, keep moving, keep moving. What a great call today, Pastor Nisha, Dale, and Paul. Just excited about uh, what's happening in our wonderful company. Hey, three quick quotes, guys, and I'll let you go. Just excited about it. Hey, Rupert Murdoch says, in motivating people, woo, I love this part. That's what we do. We motivate people. In motivating people, you've got to engage their minds and their hearts. Woo, that's what Paul was talking about today. I motivate people, I hope, by example, and perhaps by excitement. Everybody stay excited. And as Mel would say, have fun, right? If you're not having fun, you're not doing the business correctly. So perhaps by excitement, by having productive ideas to make others feel involved. Folks, get people involved, find out what their needs are, find out what their goals are, and then show them the way through our wonderful products and our wonderful comp plan. Hey, uh, Ricardo Hassan says, whatever you're doing, give it all you got. Share your passion, guys, as we do every day, excitement and enthusiasm, and let your vibe and energy become an inspiration to others. How many times, guys, have you seen and talked to people with just off your energy, just off your excitement? They just want to know what you're doing. You can just be excited about saying, hey, i got something you need to know about. When can we talk? You know what I'm saying? You can just say that. And, and get, believe me, you're going to get some appointments just from that alone, guys. Just say, hey, I'm excited. You need to hear what I have to say. When can we talk? And people are going to either say, I'm not interested, or when can we talk? You know, So go ahead and get that appointment, ladies and gentlemen. So get excited and your enthusiasm, believe me, and your excitement will get them to the next level. Hey, Mr. Nassan Panwa says, don't look back at your path. You have already walked. Hey, don't worry about what happened yesterday, today, five seconds ago. It doesn't matter. Look forward to the path you haven't walked. I love it. The future is more exciting, and we're paving the way. Back to you, Pastor News, Pastor Dale Paul. We love you guys. Let's keep it moving, and let's share this with everybody on the planet. See ya. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Amari. Thank you. One star, Dr. Kevin Vaughn from Atlanta, Georgia. Well, family, it's been a great call. Once again, you have some new tools to put in your toolbox. You've got to put it to use. you got to take action to make it happen, but it will. Let's not forget to join Mr. T tonight, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Show Me the Money Call. And please, the Spanish call starts at 9, 10 a.m. this morning. So if you have some Spanish-speaking guests you want to get on board, get them on the Spanish call that starts this Monday through Friday, 9, 10 a.m. Pacific Time which is 12, 10 um, Eastern Standard Time here on the East Coast. Um, don't forget, if you haven't done so already, be a team player family. Go to the Team Effort Network Facebook page and uh, like that page. You can get all the updates and announcements that are coming forth from corporate. Uh, Pastor Dell, do you have anything to say before we close out the call? No, great call, guys. Thank you so much. Another great call. And, yes, thank you, every one of you for being here with us today. Get us there and share the great news. Maybe you know someone that's dealing with diabetes and they need some vitamin D. Don't wait any longer. Call them up and say, look, i got something you have got to try. It's going to help you. Uh, so be a friend. Be an encourager. Help someone. And as we say, get out there, call, and get out there and go tell somebody the great news that you heard today here in Team Effort Network family. Know this you are loved. You are greatly appreciated. All of us on the East Coast, looking forward to seeing you tonight. This is your invitation. Join us tonight, 7 o'clock p.m. for our TTP at the Country Club at Woodmore. Family, be back on the call tomorrow morning to hear more great things of what's happening in the Team of the Network. You are loved.
you. I greatly appreciate it. God bless you all. That is prosperous day on purpose. Thank you, Paul Jackson. Mm-hmm.